Welcome to the Wayne State Coaches Show, exclusively on MyWayNews.com. The Wayne State Coaches Show is brought to you by... Good morning. Welcome to another week of our Coaches Show. I am here with uh, volleyball coach Tracy Cruzmark. Um, we're just going to catch up with her. We talked to her a little bit last week. Um, so you guys have a few games this week. Is yes. that correct? Yes. And so just let me know how those went. People are curious and want to hear about it. And then coming up what we have going on. Okay, so actually um, Monday night was the beginning of sub-districts okay. and so we played um, Norfolk Catholic. The, uh, we were the number one seed and played Norfolk Catholic and we beat them in three sets. And then Tuesday night we played the number two seed, uh, Pierce Blue Jays, and we actually lost to them in five sets. Oh, so we are done. Oh gosh. Yes, so the district final game is tomorrow night. Um, and Pierce then moves on to play Wahoo Newman. Okay. Um, and so the Class C1 and Class C2 um, school or uh, classes now have changed the way districts are done, and so they're um, meeting um, the other teams according to PowerPoints now. And so the district finals are now on Saturdays instead of last night; they're usually on Thursdays. So okay. we finished our season at 21 and 11. Awesome. Um, yeah, which is great. Yeah, um, we were all sad to lose to Pierce on Tuesday night. Yeah, we had beat him twice earlier in the year, but you know, um, things happen. Yeah. So, so um, sports work, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. So that. So yeah, we're done now. So then now, what do you have going on? Do you do you guys do anything after season regarding workouts? Kind of what? what okay. Um, usually in the month of January, there's a league in Columbus, and so the girls that are not playing basketball. Um, there's usually enough of them that I can kind of get one team together oh, to okay. play in that. And then there's one other league that we do in March, and so that can involve basketball girls also, and then it's just usually in March, so that it doesn't necessarily affect track either. Um, so there's a few things that we do, and then, yeah. um, you know, then it's summer already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, congrats on a great season. Thank you. Gosh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for chatting with me. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> State Nebraska Bank from the State National Bank. State Nebraska Bank was founded in 1893 as a full-service bank. We've supported Wayne State Athletics and Wayne State for over 100 years. We have both faculty and student accounts and have scholarships for the incoming freshman class at Wayne State each and every year. We want to wish all the Wildcat teams all the success this year and the coaching staff, and we hope to see you at all the Wildcat games. Let's go Cats! State Nebraska Bank. Member FD. Hello, I'm here with Coach Marlon Brink, cross country. Um, we are here to talk about his kind of final hoorah this season. Um, so he leaves tomorrow at noon. So tell us a little bit about where you're going and uh, how long you're going to be gone, what to expect. Yeah, we're going up to uh, Yankton, uh, Yankton Sioux Falls, South Dakota, <laughs> at Yankton Trails Park, kind of confusing there. But uh, it's where we ran the, uh, the conference meet at two weeks ago, and then also we ran the first meet of the season there as well. So our athletes are very familiar with the course. Uh, it's the NCAA Central Regional Championships. Uh, there's three uh, conferences that are represented there. It's the Northern Sun Conference, the Great American Conference, and the MIAA Conference. So it's huge. Yeah, yeah. it's a big deal. There'll be about 30, 34 teams on the women's side, and about 30 teams on the men's right. side. So, and then the top uh, four teams qualify for the national meet, and the top three individuals that are on the uh, qualifying teams also advance. So how do you guys expect to pair? I mean, obviously it's a huge meet, so, I'm sure you guys talk about goals. Um, where do you expect to kind of end up? Well, we're hoping on the, uh, the men's side that we can be in the top 20 teams. Uh, you know, we feel like that's an attainable goal uh, if we run well. And on the women's side, we're hoping for the top 25. So that's kind of where we're shooting Oh, that's for. good, yeah. And um, for seniors, I guess I can't remember, do you have seniors on the men's or women's side? Yep, on the men's side, we've got uh, Joy Black and Corbin Lynn. And then on the, men, the women's side, we've got Andrea De Simone and Sarah Post and Mary Alderson will be running their final races. Okay, so kind of losing, yep. losing a lot of strength on the team yep. there. Okay, well, and then um, what what do you expect for weather, I suppose? We uh, it's supposed to be that. beautiful up there. It's supposed Good. to be about like it was for conference. It'll probably be uh, around the 50 degree mark for the men's race at 10 o'clock there, and then the women's race, uh, probably upper 50s to low 60s, 11 to 15 they run. So uh, it should be perfect racing conditions. You know, the athletes are excited. Uh, we've kind of been tapering back their workouts, so uh, their legs are fresh and ready to go. And Hopefully we get some good performances there. Awesome. Well, we look forward to it. Sounds good. Thank Thanks. You. When we invite you to be a part of it at Wayne State College, we mean learning from a professor you can call up even after you're in med school, starting your own club, being elected to a leadership role as a freshman, volunteering over spring break, breaking records, influencing the next generation, finding a home away from home, 
be a part of it at Wayne State College. Hello, I'm here with Dan McLaughlin, football coach. Um, kind of a big weekend, last home game of the season. Um, so what do you expect from Mankato? I mean, obviously they're very good, but um, what's your guys' strategy to beating them? Well, their uh, their quarterbacks are very good. Uh, they, they have a strong quarterback run game, and we've got to be able to try to neutralize that a little bit. Their defense is very good. As you said, they've been probably the, the best team in the league the last several years, and uh, uh, the playoff team has done a great job. And so uh, we, we have to we have to try and neutralize their quarterback run game a little bit and eliminate big plays uh, as far as our defense is concerned, and then offensively. You know, the thing that's hurt us is red zone. You know, we just got to be able to capitalize when we get those opportunities. Right, and so it's parents weekend this weekend, right? No, the, is it? It's family weekend. Family it's weekend. Senior okay. day. So, any, is anything special going on at halftime? Or we'll honor our seniors before the game uh, okay. and, uh, you know, talk about them a little bit, uh, each and every one, and, and thank them for all the things that they've done for us. Um, and then kind of what to expect, how have the guys seen this week? Do they seem energized, nervous, ready to play? Well, they've like had you? a good week of practice. You know, the kids are excited to play a great football team. And, uh, um, you know, we've had a good week and uh, they're getting ready. Just uh, been impressed with the energy they brought every day and getting ready to go. Good. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you very much. Pack and Save in Wayne is a proud supporter of Wayne State Athletics and host of the Saturday tailgate parties on campus at Memorial Stadium for every home football game. Stop in to check out their outstanding produce, their quality selection of meats, and their top-notch deli with the best fried chicken and salads around. Pack and Save supports Wayne State Athletics, and we hope to see you at the games this year. Go Pats! Pack and Save, a proud supporter of Wayne State College Athletics, located on West Highway 35 in Wayne. Hello, I'm here with Scott Knifel, head volleyball coach. Um, we've kind of had come off to a weird start. I haven't got to talk to him this season much. Um, Obviously, as usual, the volleyball team is doing very well. Um, I saw that you guys were ranked seven, correct? Yeah, originally, yeah. Right. So, um, obviously, we want you guys to be ranked higher. So, we have a couple games coming up this weekend. Um, they leave today for Minot on Friday and you marry on Saturday. So, we're just going to kind of talk to him about the games coming up this weekend. Um, just kind of what to expect from each team and uh, how you guys expect to fare against them. Sure, I, I guess first of all, it's the, I mean, we, we have a long bus route up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's uh, too far right. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna get up there and, you know, Minot has a really good team. Um, and they don't, they haven't had a lot of success this last year, uh, but they play extremely hard, especially at home. And uh, you, Mary, has been doing really well late, of late. So, I mean, we know we gotta go on the road. We, we just got back up the road from Bemidji first. Right. So, um, now we're Another back, far drive. Another far drive. So, now we're back on the road to Minot Mary, and it's it's gonna be crucial that we take care of business up there. Um, like you said, we're ranked seventh in the regional. Only the top seven teams get to go. So, right. Because the GAC gets an automatic qualifier. So, we feel like we're, we control our own destiny, which is nice. Um, we didn't feel like we would be ranked quite that high, actually. Uh, so it was a pleasant surprise yesterday when the regional rankings came out, and hopefully, you know, we can win out and you know be in that tournament at the end. So after this weekend, uh, obviously we want you to say you guys went out. Then uh, what do we expect from there? Okay. Well, after this weekend, then we, we're at home next weekend against Moorhead and Northern, okay. two quality opponents. Um, if we can take care of that, then we head into the conference tournament and. Uh, we have no idea who will play or, or when. Um, I, I guess we'll play next Wednesday, in the, the following Wednesday, in the conference tournament, but um, against a quality opponent. Definitely a top four team in the country um, on the road, so it's going to be tough, but um, you know, we hope we're up for the task. Um, for this weekend, are there any, uh, I like, kind of like to talk about the different players, are there any key players that we should look for who's been playing really well for you? I mean, obviously everyone. But... Right. Yeah, I, I mean, this last weekend, uh, Alyssa Brandorfer was named NSIC Offensive Player of the Week, and Michaela Mestel was named Defensive Player of the Week. Awesome. Uh, yeah, Alyssa had 30 kills, and Michaela had 30 days, so over 30, 32 days, I believe. So, you know, they're playing really well right now. Seniors, they've been on the been through it before, they understand what it's about. So uh, that senior leadership is gonna be key. You know, coming down the stretch, we have, like I said, four big conference games left and we need to take care of all of them. Awesome, well, thank you for meeting with me. All right, thank Good you. Luck. All right, thanks.